I want to give you not one, but three locations to find Ruby inside Subnautica. Hello, everybody. I'm Granddaddy Gamer, and today we're going to go over three different locations to find Ruby. So the first one, we're actually going to be starting at zero point, right? So if you do not know how to find zero point, in the safe shallows, you're going to find... A coral tube that kind of sticks out of the water and is shaped like a horn. You go ahead and put your back to it like this and then come straight down to this valley. There's this little arch right here. Right here is zero point. I actually put a beacon here for myself just so I know. Okay. We'll be going below 200 meters with this and not really very far below 300. The first place we want to go, we want to go south southwest about five to seven hundred meters away from zero point. And I will not cut away so that you guys can follow along a lot easier. Keep going in a straight line, just like this. Out of my way, buddy. From here, it's gonna drop off. Now you're gonna have some bone sharks right here, and once you get down into this area right here, just kinda take your time from here I go down to, I start to see some of these boxes. Now you are gonna have bone sharks as well as warpers, so you need to be careful. They're just gonna kinda pop over here. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. And then along this wall right here, you're gonna find Ruby. Sometimes it takes a minute to spawn in. Here is a Ruby right here. You can also find gel sacs I've found here in the past. Let's just kind of go along the wall here. Here's another ruby right here. Down. Continue to follow it along. Even go down lower. But as you can see, the warper's right there, so be careful. Here's another ruby right here. I advise when you come here to go ahead and grab as many rubies as you can. Location two. Now for location two, I'm actually going to come into my beacon manager and I have marked zero point with the beacon and I'm going to deactivate my life pod. I'm going to make sure my beacon for zero point is active here. And we're going to be going to life pod 19. Now, if you have life pod 19, I suggest you mark it with a color that you can see easily. If you do not, that's fine. From zero point, we're gonna go about 11 to 1200 meters away. Okay, so we're gonna go directly due south. As you can see, I have it marked right there. And I will not cut away so you guys can follow along a lot easier. Now you will be going below 250 meters and if you do not have the Mark 1 depth module for the Seamoth, you will need to park your Seamoth above 200 meters so you not take damage and you'll have to dive down into the hole to get the ruby. A rebreather here would help out a lot. Also, if you have access to the reinforced diving suit, it's not needed, but it will help against the tiger, the plants. There's a plant down there that shoots little barbs at you if you get too close. Other than that, 
there's no other enemies. It's relatively safe and you shouldn't have too many problems. You're going to come to these mountains like this and it's going to drop straight down. That's what we want to do. Just keep dropping down. So now at this point, if we turn around to our zero point, we're about 800 meters away. But we want to keep it on southwest and keep going straight down. We're looking for a big giant hole with the wreckage around of it, around it. This is the hole right here. And there should be wreckage. You can see we're going to keep going southwest and you're going to see this right on the lip. This wreckage is going to be all around. This will be on the lip and this cave right here with this wreckage right here. We're going to go straight down. So at this wreckage point, if we turn around to zero point where I have marked it, 1100 meters. Now from here, you may have to leave your Seamoth here if you cannot go any farther and dive down into this cave to get the rubies. We're going to go down inside. So now, one way to find rubies, as you notice, I don't have a light on and it's kind of dark in here, but the rubies kind of glow. There's a there's a ruby there. I can actually see a couple of rubies over here very easily. So you actually don't need a light. We pull ours out. These plants down here go down. I have the reinforced diving suit, so as they shoot me, I won't take damage. As you can see him flinging at me. It just bounces off. Location number three, a bit of a warning here. It is easy to get turned around in underwater caves, just like Rex, even if it's not really that twisty or turny, if that's actually a word. So we are at zero point again. Now, if I snug up in here, this is just gonna be easier for you guys can actually have it marked here. I'm about two to three clicks left of Southwest between South and Southwest, as you can see on my compass. We're just gonna go along this way. Two clicks to the left of Southwest. We're going back into the Grand Reef again. It's kind of a going thing here. But you're gonna find a little cave that we can go in. You won't go below 200 meters, but you will not be able to get your Seamoth in there. And just like before, I will not cut away so that you can follow along a lot easier. Things are going to start to drop off here. Up on these caves here. We can actually fall along the cave walls. We're looking for an opening. There's a few openings here. Also, there's Ruby right there. But let's go into here. We're about 175 meters down. Need to get out. Go inside. Here's a Ruby right here. Once again, a word of caution as you come into any kind of underwater cave. There's multiple ways out. There's also uranite in here. Lots of uranite. You can see.
you come down further in the water, as you can see, Ruby, Ruby, come through this, Ruby, and it opens up. So not that bad. Just be careful. If you're still looking for the alien containment or your moon pool, check out one of the videos that I'm going to link right here on the right. Anyways, I'm Granddaddy Gamer, and if you found the guide useful or helpful in any way, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, and I will see you in the next.